Welcome back guys, this is Srikan. Today we are going to discuss about the uh, solution or the workaround for fixing the problem which arises due to the parameter sleeping. As you can see this is the second part. So in the first part you guys can see uh, that how we can identify the problem related to the parameter sleeping. Right? So in this video I am going to explain all the different uh, ways to fix the parameter sleeping problem. Right? Okay, let's start one by one. So there are a few methods, few workaround for fixing the problem. The first one we are going to talk with the SQL Server hint option. Okay, so you know when when you guys see the parameter sneaking problem mostly, when we call a specific uh, query or when we do call a specific store procedure, we can see that store procedure it get. Uh, uses the old execution plan for the earlier parameter and that pa uh, that that execution plan is not good for the other parameter which we pass to the query right so the main thing which we deal with the store procedure is the execution plan which gets stored into the uh, buffer cache and that plan get reused right okay. so the first point we are going to discuss and this is basically the fixing for the parameter sleep. So what the first point is, use the SQL Server hint option. So hint option is basically is an option which we have to add at the creation of an object. This is the store procedure. So for example, I'm creating one store procedure, create procedure, uh, test one. Right. As I'm writing the code like as beginning and just writing one select statement here. And as you can inside it, a lot of logic is present. I'm simply saying select uh, at the time. And this procedure is having the parameter int. Right. Uh, for just understanding purpose, I'm not writing more complex code inside this two procedure, but to, uh, just to show you the use of the option recompile, I'm going to create this procedure and I'm showing you how where to add and uh, how to add it, right? So, when you guys do create a stroke procedure at the top layer before as we need to create this with the option and this option is recompiled, right? Simply write option recompile so this is uh, the first method when we create a stroke procedure just uh, add one server level option so not so basically it's basically object level option in uh, with recompile so what happens you know every time when the procedure get called every time the uh, procedure will get recompiled and the new execution plan will get created and that plan will be used for that respective uh, calculation or the processing so you guys understood the first option that the with the sql server option recompile okay just for testing purposes we simply run the code and you can see the code got successfully executed and you will see the success message here so this is the first way we can do you know, how we can do fix the parameter sleeping problem the first one. the second thing we are going to understand is the uh, with a uh, query level basically the second solution we are going to talk is the query level Query level fix. This is at basically the object level and now query level. When we do write a query, we have a different kind of uh, options, uh, right? Uh, so we need to uh, say to the query or we need to say to the database engine that I want to recompile this query whenever they get caught. So don't store the execution plan for this respect to query. So how do we do that? For example, I'm simply writing a query like select star from take any table. I'm taking it as a test, for example. So I'm I'm taking the data from the table. So writing a condition like where this is just dummy table. Uh, this table is not exist. Just I'm telling you for the understanding purpose. And this is the i variable. 
and this specific block is present inside the code for example like here okay and for example this table is not small it's a very big table and every time when i get call call this procedure the data sometime data gives me you know fast uh, in a minimum time and sometimes data takes a lot of time to retrieve right so parameter specific problem is there I, I i found the problem now i just want to fix it so another solution for this and i realized that there is only one query which is fine which is doing the issue uh, for the this problem right because there, that is only the one place where i'm using the parameter right so how do i fix it at the query level so you need to use the with option as a recompile so how do you do that option recompile you need to just type like this so this is the query level in right you need to write like this so if you specify like this you know what does it mean it means that the whenever this query will get called inside the code or inside the system the execution plan or this respective query will not get created and every time whenever it get called new execution plan will be created for the past parameter right even though you are passing the same parameter again and again this the different uh, or the new execution plan will get created and which get executed right this is the second way to fix the parameter specific problem third is option this is basically the query level right? option optimize for uh, for example, we do have done log testing and we realize that the execution plan which get created for a specific parameter is good and which give us a good result in a, far, in, a, in a minimum time, right? So we have a specific uh, um, option and this is the option optimized for. If you are not sure for which you need to specify, then you just write like unknown or if you uh, no, for which specific value it works like I am switching it as a 1 so this query will be uh, stored inside the buffer cache and the execution plan which created only for the parameter 1 either you pass a 2 either you pass a 3 or either you pass any number the execution plan won't get changed the execution plan always be created only for the value 1 this is for the optimized one so this is the third workaround uh, let me copy it. So this is third. Fine. This is second. And this is first. These are the three technique or work around for fixing the parameter we just discussed. Next is to add a dummy variable. So what happened, you know, when we pass the um, variable or the value to the store procedure, the variable or the parameter uh, uses the execution plan in which gets stored, right? So sometimes if we simply do a simple logic, like, like if we define a new variable, for example, I1, I'm searching it as one, another one, and doing a blank value here and setting the input value of the parameter to the local variable right and after that i'm just using the same query again here and uh, uh, the value i'm going to pass is the local variable not the parameter right? So it fixes the problem for the parameter. So every time, you know, every time whenever the query get called, a new execution plan will get created because we are doing the uh, change in the query. We are passing the variable, not the parameter. So this is the fourth option for fixing the. This is basically simplest and easiest. I believe most of the people, if they realize there is a problem of parameter, they go for this option. If the query is small, right? so it depends basically. Uh, next is the disabling the SQL level for parameter snipping at instance level. You guys know that there is a trace flag, 
press plank is the one which uh, if we if stay uh, if say it's uh, on right so it will hide some default behavior of a server so there is a stress flag or if you are a dba you guys might know about this stress flag thing uh, i'll discuss about stress flag in coming videos but right now don't be get confused and just uh, keep in mind that there is a something called as a stress flag if we on it the some default behavior of the system would get disabled right so if you don't want the feature of the parameter snipping go on your server in at server level basically right so you want to disable entire parameters even throughout the server then you need to on the press plan so press plan 41 press plan 4136 so if you on it on the server layer 4136 the parameter snipping would get disabled for entire system right. so but this is not the uh, good way to define at the server level so sometimes people use this press flag at the query level. So we have the option basically like this is the option we do need to use it. For example, if I'm writing the query like this, okay, and this is simple query, I use it at the optimize for one. So instead of that, I will use this. Where it is on 4136. So, this is the plan which is used to disable the um, parameter snipping, right? So, if you specify it at query level, the parameter snipping would get disabled and your system would not affect uh, or your query would not store the um, execution plan and it will not be the victim of parameter snipping. So, these are the six ways we just have discussed related with the parameter snipping along with the script uh, we discussed. I hope you guys understood and realized the parameter snipping problem is very uh, important and to have the knowledge of fixing the solution uh, issue also is important and I hope by watching this video you guys understood and uh, learned a lot and thanks for watching have a great day.